Are you over 40, a female, and you want to build an incredible butt? Watch this. She's 62 years old, and she looks exceptional. Our next caller is Jody from Connecticut. Hi, Jody. How can I help you? Hey, guys. How, how are you? How are you doing, you? Jody? Hello. Um, thanks for all the great information you guys put out there all the time. I've been a fan for a couple of years, which is why I'm calling you to get some help. I am 62, and I am going to get back on stage to compete again. And I competed for 10 years, became a two-time world bikini champion at 49. And um, I'm concerned that my butt is not going to be where I need it to be by November. <laughs> so I know shows are won from the backside. So I need your help. What are the best exercises for glutes? Jody, we, we can't, we cannot do this unless you're honest with us. Did you say you're 62? Can you, is that for reals? Yes. Yes. For real. Holy <laughs> cow. Oh, you're very sweet. What kind of filters on this camera? <laughs> you look exceptional. You're very sweet. Listen, you've been lifting weights for a long time. Okay. 40 years. O obviously. I mean, you look phenomenal. Um, and you Thank won you. some, yeah. So, I mean, the, the bet we just talked to Brett Contreras. In fact, we just had him on the show. He's the butt yep. building guy. And, he talked about training people who have a lot of experience, who've been strength training for a long time. And he basically is like, all of their lower body workouts are glute focused. And we may throw in some compound lifts like squats and uh, and uh, leg press and lunges. He goes, but otherwise it is a lot of glute stuff. It's hip thrusts. It's all, it's like the, the back extensions with the focus on the glutes it's glute machines. It's a uh, high volume. So it's heavy, high intensity exercises, but also low intensity, single joint exercises with lots of volume. And he's like, he, he took, he, in fact, he talked about some of his uh, competitors where they avoided, I mean, any direct, you know, quad work and it was all hamstring and glute and it was a glute focus. And that's when they saw the progress. And you're the perfect person for someone like that. Cause you've got, such, you've already done so phenomenal. You've got such great muscle memory that, uh, there, I mean, it's, I wouldn't advise for the beginner to avoid certain things, but for someone like you, I think that that'll be the trick. Keep in, keep in mind too, Jody, that, you know, shows are also won in the off season and not in the prep. That's another thing I always tell my competitors is like, so, uh, one, what's, what's our time frame that we have before you actually start prep and our, do we have some good, cause that, that when you, if you're going to apply the things that I'm going to recommend with the, like Brett Contreras talked about, um, it does matter that we are in a bulk and we're building because, uh, you know, I, I could tell you all the greatest exercise in the world. If if you're in a calorie deficit in prep time, we're not gonna we're not gonna build any glutes in that in that phase. So what are we looking at time wise? So we are exactly twelve weeks out. I started a month ago mentally prepping and working lifting heavier. So for the past month, um, I've been thinking of it sort of kind of like twelve weeks out, but I knew that I had sixteen weeks out. Um, so I've been trying to lift heavier. I was concerned about my shoulders being, I don't, I'm not a big person. I'm all of five feet tall and I weigh 103. So I'm not a big person, yeah. but so I didn't know how much I could actually lift. Um, so I was concerned about the shoulders too. So to answer your question, I am, I am prepping. So I'm 12 weeks out as of today. So that's the greatest challenge here is that there's not a lot that we're going to do right now. Well, there's nothing we can do right now to technically build your glutes. You can just try to prevent you, yeah. from losing. Um, Cause I, what I would have recommended is that we go on a bulk and we train hip thrust three times a week and probably squatting and deadlifting intermittently uh, in there also. So that it would be built around how much can I get that hip thrust up? And how much are we squatting when we started and how much are we squatting at the end of it? And that would be like the main focus of the programming, but it would have to be done in a bulk and us in a surplus of calories. Cause doing that in a deficit, you're just not, you're not going to build any additional uh, muscle at this point going in a prep. You know what? I was thinking about that because I didn't, I felt my gut reaction was that I'm not going to be ready because how much can I build at this point? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily given my age, but just that I have, I had 16 weeks out. Um, I don't know if my coach just wants to throw me on stage and see how I'll do in the 60 and over. But I just don't want to look like an idiot. I don't want to look like a fool. I want to bring my best I, body. I don't think you're going to look like a fool and idiot. I, just, I think uh, I think you're going to do fine. But it, I mean, there's there's two different things here, right? Say, I'm going to tell you that you're going to do just fine. You're, you're going to do well. 
I'm sure you'll do well. But if you were, if I was coaching you and you said, Adam, my, my, my main focus, you put me on that stage again. I want my ass looking right. And I want it looking better than I feel right now. Then I would tell you, I'd say, okay, well then I don't want to focus on a date yet for when the show is let's go build this ass. Let's get on a bulk. Let's, let's, and let's measure, let's see, and let's see the progress until you feel like, hell yeah, I feel a difference. I see a difference. And then I say, okay, now it's time to get ready for this show. Let's prep, let's get lean, let's get shredded and let's reveal all this hard work we've yeah. done. But that being said, if you're committed to going to the show and there, and we're not going to postpone or do it another time and you're you can at least the, the protocol would be the same. So like I still would be doing hip thrust three times a week like that with intermittently putting squats and deadlifts in there. I would still train you as if I was trying to build glutes. I just want to be transparent and honest with you. I'm not going to, I mean, I wouldn't lie to you as your coach and say, Oh, don't worry. We're, we're going to get that ass this last, this last 10 weeks. It's like, no, you're in a deficit. Like you are, you're catabolic. We're not building shit right now. Yeah, right now it's maintaining and as much that's, as you can. That's how I was feeling. I was feeling. And that's why I reached out to Adam. I'm like, okay, I need, uh, what, what can you guys do to help me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, at, at this point, it's just trying to, uh, you're playing defense. You're trying to prevent I muscle know. loss. Yep. But when you get back into the building phase, you're looking at, you know, probably 30 total sets a week of glute work. But of that, 10 to 15 is the heavier stuff. And the rest is just volume and frequency and pump. And I, I went through your Instagram and you've got great quads. So I think you'd be totally fine sacrificing quad work for glute work. I don't think you'd have any. In fact, I mean, a lot of the glute works that include some quad. So you'd be totally fine. And I would do like a 12-week bulk and I'm trying to build my butt. And that's the focus. How yeah. strong can I get my hip thrust? Yep. Um, how strong can I get my sumo deadlift and you know, how much volume and, 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 you know, intelligent volume can I throw at my glutes? And then I take that volume away from other body parts. Don't make the mistake of just adding volume to all your workouts, but rather I'm going to do less quad work, more glute work. And that'll, that otherwise you're just going to overwhelm your body with, with too much work. You're going to love the, the Brett Contreras episode. Cause it was like, I mean, a two hour episode primarily talking about ass. So it'll, okay. it'll, be, it'll be, I think I saw it and I just haven't listened to well, it. Well, no, yet. it hasn't gone live yet. Doug, oh, okay. We, we have it scheduled no. right now. Is it scheduled? Yeah, I believe it's going to be out in a week. Okay. So in a week it'll okay. pop out. So listen to that as far as like, but again, if we were, to, if I was coaching you, we would have done this pre-prep because come prep time, what I tell all my competitors was, this is where we reveal all the hard work we did in the off season, right? At yeah. this point, you're not building a, even though people think you're building a physique because you reveal this amazing physique after 12 weeks, you're just cutting down. You're just carving away and revealing all the work that you put into before. And so, yeah, most of that work would be done already by now. So, I mean, I think you're going to do fine no matter what. I think you're going to do more than fine, Jody. I think you look great. You're going to kill it. But if you want a protocol afterwards, I would say run a bulk and then listen to that episode where we talk everything about building glutes. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds like maybe I just need to get my feet wet um, and see what it feels like. I'm also going to be competing in a different federation that I've never competed in before. Yeah. So it's MPC. So okay. it's just... Um, well, well, there's a lot of value in that too, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So like a lot of coaches, I remember this was kind of the debate that I was going back and forth with my buddy who was a coach at the time. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to get up on stage yet. I want a whole year to build the physique. And he was like, no, no, no. He's like, just get up there and get your practice and be seen by the judges. He's like, I don't, it doesn't matter that you're not going to be able to bring the best version of yourself yet. Like right now you just need to be seen by these NPC judges and you want to get that practice in of what the whole, mm -hmm. the whole process is going to look like even though you have the process of cutting and so like that, but the process of actually going in and competing on the NPC stage, he's like, get that out of the way, get the judges seeing you out of the way, and then you can put that hard work in. So there is some value of you just getting up there, let them see you. If you plan to do this again after that, then oh, there, that, yeah. that is actually a smart strategy is to get up because you already have a good enough physique that you're going to do well, whether you win the whole thing or not on your first show or not. Well, that's a different story. And at least now the judges will see you, you'll get their feedback, and then you'll have a blueprint for what to go do and build in the off season. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, that all. And reach back to me. Something. I'd love to hear how this goes. So I'll be watching. I I will let you know. Thank you so much. Yeah, good job, Jody. All right, Jody. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Everybody needs to look at her Instagram. She's looks I know. I cannot believe I remember when she interviewed me and I was like, I really thought she was lying to me. I was like, there's no way she's like, she looks like a fit forty something year old. Yeah, she woman. looks she looks good for forty. And, and yeah. I mean, in her Instagram, she has lots of, and that's, I mean, she's obviously strength trained properly and done this for a long time because very balanced, very, I mean, healthy 
looking physique and, you know, competing. Um, I think your advice was great, Adam. I think, you know, test it out, see what happens. And then after that, you could focus on like a whole period of, of building, but she's so experienced with strength training that, um, you know, if she just did glute exercises for her lower body, she, her lower, bo her legs, her quads will probably look fine. I'm sure there'll be no change, but she would get the butt gains. Yeah, I, I, part of why I wanted her to come on here so we could discuss it because I think it's actually a, a cool conversation because it doesn't just apply, this does this doesn't just apply to competitors. This is a common thing yeah. that you hear clients yeah. want. Mm -hmm. They want to build this body. They want to build this ass. They want to build these arms. They want to build these shoulders, and then they also want to lose all this body fat. And it's like, okay, well, if we go on this cut where we want to reduce calories to lose the gut or lose the body fat you're not simultaneously going to build a butt. You're not simultaneously mm -hmm. going to build shoulders. And of course, there's exceptions to the rule to an absolute newbie who's never touched weights that will see some progress in both ends. And what you see is an illusion. So when people think, oh, that's not true. I remember when I got shredded before and my shoulders were there. No, you all, you've all you always had those shoulders. Yeah. You always had that ass. It just got, you always had those abs. Yeah, they just, see it. they just got revealed. That's mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. if you want to quote unquote build those muscles, then we have to be in a surplus. It's just science. You can't, you're not going to build it while your body is catabolic. It's especially when you're advanced. Now, sometimes yes. complete beginners can get away with being in a small deficit and see a build and lose process happen at the same time. But at her level, unlikely. It's unlikely. She's already built so much muscle. She's trained for so long. Gaining muscle is going to be hard anyway, even in a surplus, let alone a deficit. It's going to be impossible. Yeah. If, if I was her coach and she came to me and said those things before we decided to do the show, the only reason why I would let her get on stage within 12 to 16 weeks now is because just purely for what I said, Hey, it, we're going to go, we're going to go after, let's say like her and I decide we're going to go after an uh, IFBB bro, pro card. And so I know she's going to have a journey. It's not going to be one or yeah. two shows. Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. to be doing at least three to five to maybe six shows for that even to be a, a possibility. Then I'm like, go do it just so we can, the judges can see you. We can get their feedback. And then the next prep or the next off season will we'll build the physique that I think is going to win. There's value in that. But if she was like, Adam, I'm going to do one show. I'm in my 60s now. I just want to say I, I did it one more time and I want to bring the best body I can. Then I'd be like, okay, let's take our time then. Let's let's really assess. Let's talk about all your weak points and then let's build an off season where we're going to be in a calorie surplus. Let's go sculpt this body. That would have been a better approach if that, if that was her desired outcome.